How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to take a look at these Fluke current measurement devices. One of them is an open jaw and one of them is this clamp meter type. Open this little clamp over and create a loop. First let me do an unboxing of the T6 1000 Pro. Nothing else in the box. this T1000 Pro can do a lot of things except it cannot do AC amperage. This is mainly for detecting AC and DC voltages but only AC amperages. The 1000 can do 1000 volts and the 600 can do 600 volts. Both of them can do up to 200 AC amps. The Pro can measure resistance up to 100 kilo ohms. The 600 can only measure up to 2000 ohms. This specification is rather small compared to a regular digital multimeter. It can measure the frequency of the voltage 45 to 66 hertz. It will beep for continuity. It can measure both voltage and amps at the same exact time, meaning that you can multiply them together to get wattage. The jaw are both 0.7 inches and they're both true RMS multimeter. It comes with these connector things and you can insert these onto your probe. Sometimes you might have contacts that are really close to each other and so that might be a danger. So this makes it a little bit safer to use. The probes themselves are a little bit specialized for measuring AC equipment. When when you're not using it, you can attach it to the meter to one of the probe lines like this and it's secure. In order to sense the voltage, you still need to connect this to ground. And this is a live 120 volt voltage. If I start putting it closer and closer, it doesn't sense anything yet. It needs to almost touch the very bottom to show 122 volt AC and this warning indicator turns on too. See if I come off just a little bit Right there, it doesn't show anymore. So you gotta go all the way in in order to measure it. I'm drawing about 800 watts, so I know it's about six to seven amps or so. I'm gonna use this other fluke meter, 375FC, to measure it. And it says 7.3 AC amps. You need to take measurements from the line one or line two or line three. That's usually the black wire. The neutral wire is not gonna show accurate results because you're measuring with respect to ground and line one. So if I put this jaw through here, it shows 9.1 amps AC, 116 volt AC. I can press this button to see that it's 60 Hertz. Press it again to go back. Let's say I'm not quite all the way inserted all the way. It still says 7.4, but it's actually a little high. If you try to measure the neutral line, you're gonna get incorrect results. It says only 17 volt AC, 1.4 amp AC. This doesn't mean very much because this is the neutral line. Overall, this is useless if you're trying to measure DC amps. For AC amps, this is very good for electricians. As long as the amperage measurement, you don't care if it's plus or minus 10% or so. If you want more accurate measurements, I still think you should get a clamp meter. To change the battery, there's just one screw. Uses two AA batteries. And let's take it apart further. This clamp is made of this coil that goes all the way around. That's measuring the magnetic field that's passing through the wire. You can replace this cable over here. If it ever severs or anything, you can get a replacement one. These are just spade connectors that you can just plug right back in the coil goes all the way up here. It's probably measuring all the magnetic field it can. Yes, some of it is gonna leak out over here, but it's gonna try to guess how much current is going through the wire. It's not exactly a metal piece, but it looks like there's metallic paint on it. Let's check on this. This is conductive. It's trying to shield it against any kind of interfering magnetic field to keep the results fairly accurate. This little rolly thing is just to make a good contact with the metal so that when I close this up, it will contact this circuit board here. There are contacts for the battery. If you're just measuring current, you don't have to connect the black probe to ground. But if you do use the black probe, you can see the current and the AC voltage, or you can switch it to see the current 
and the frequency. This is good in tight spaces if you cannot even open a jaw around the lines that you want to measure. And it's good if you want to measure current and voltage at the same time. However, accuracy is a little bit lacking. Personally, I would like to measure AC and DC currents. So this is definitely more for an electrician and not if you're gonna work on batteries. If you guys are interested in either of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <music>